Hello and welcome to video number six, buckets and folders. Now that you have connected to your S3 account, what we need to do now is create buckets and within that bucket, we need to create folders so then you can actually upload files to those folders. So starting where we left off in the previous video, then you should see a list of buckets underneath. Or if you've created a brand new account, then of course you will not have any buckets. To create a buckets, it's very, very easy. And think of buckets kind of like either they are separate companies, separate departments. They're not necessarily folders because you have folders within that particular bucket. So what I like to do is I like to create a bucket for each new domain name. So that way I can segment them I can separate things and I know, okay, this file is connected to this website. Now you can separate it however you wish and create as many buckets as you want, but I just wanted to kind of show you what we do. So assuming you have clicked the source, you've chosen your Amazon S3 main account, you will see the buckets here. Now, as you can see, I have four buckets, but within those buckets, I've got a lot of files within there. Now to create a bucket, it's easy. All you have to do is click on the blue square icon. Then what we do is we create a bucket name and keep in mind that you want to name it using a naming convention so that you know what that bucket is. Now the next thing is it's going to ask you for your bucket location, meaning are you going to upload the files to a server within a certain region like Singapore, Sydney, Australia, Tokyo, Seoul, Korea, Europe, or the US. Now, before you decide on choosing what bucket, I know most of people will choose a bucket that is closest to them. Instead, I recommend that you choose a bucket that is closer to the majority of your audience. So yes, if you're in the US and most of your audience is within the US, then choose that bucket. If you find that you're in Sydney, Australia, but most of your audience is within the US, then I recommend choosing that. Now, the next thing, it's gonna ask you for storage class, but I would leave it at standard and I'll click OK. So now it's created the bucket. So we can see it is test domain DL. I'm gonna double click that and there we go. Now I can create folders as you can see here. So I can click new folder. We can create maybe videos folder, create a audios folder and create an images folder and whatever folders that you decide to create. And then of course you can go within the folder and then you can upload the files. Now I'm going to show you how to upload and transfer files and the specific settings that I have it set on and all of that in the future videos. But I wanted to keep it simple and show you how to create a bucket. So you see back in the day, you would have to log in the Amazon dashboard and create a bucket there. But now that you have the program, which is what I highly recommend that you do, now you can create all the buckets inside the program and you're good to go. So with that said, let's move on to the next video.